Hello everybody, welcome to an LJ Akins tutorial, and today I am going to teach you how to make a character move in Blender's game engine. So first thing you want to do is select your character, and then go into the game logic, and then go from Blender Render to Blender Game. Then keeping your object selected, you want to go down here to add a sensor and then you want to add a keyboard center to make the movement. This is going to be a forward movement. I'm going to use the ASWASD system like Minecraft uses. So I'm going to press W since forward is W in Minecraft. Then I'm going to go ahead and add an actuator and make it motion. And according to this, forward is X, positive X. So I'm going to make it point 0.1 which is, which sounds small but it moves pretty fast in the game engine then I'm just going to connect these you're going to need to add an actuator an and actuator like that but if you if you uh, connect if you just uh, like this connect them together like that it'll just automatically make an actu an and actuator so you can do whichever one you want it's just a little shortcut that I use okay now if I press P and press W it will go forward at a nice steady pace like that so now I want to make the backwards one. Do the same thing, make a keyboard, name it. You don't have to name it, but I like to name it backward. And then press S, like Minecraft does. Then add an actuator, motion, negative X, since this, it's the opposite of my forward motion. And then connect them again. Oops. There we go. And then press P, W goes forward. S goes backwards at the same pace. And I'm just going to minimize this so I can make more room. Add another sensor, make another keyboard. Name this one left, if you're naming them. And now it's going to be A. I'm going to make a motion actuator. And this way it's saying positive Y. Oops. So point 0.1 in the Y axis connect them and now let's see if it works press P W forward S backwards A to the left same pace as all the others perfect and now I'm gonna add it one more another keyboard name it right and then press D connect it with a motion actuator and this one will be negative point ten there we go. and then connect them and now if we press B W forward S backwards A left and D right so it all works perfectly now pretty simple that was pretty easy to learn and if you it's basically this way for any kind of motion, just add a different sensor, such as keyboard and uh, a mouse or something like that. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.